Hi guys, Todd here. This should be a quick one because this is for the Dead Rabbit 22mm SQ RDA. Now I've reviewed its big brother in the past and, and I now have the 22mm version and I have to say I really like this. I'm quite surprised about how good this actually is. It's a single coil RDA, 22mm. Uh, I have a stainless steel one here just now and it comes with 810 drip tip and all that jazz but it also comes with a tiny little drip tip like this and you can turn the airflow down to that. So whilst you can do lung hits with this thing you can dial it right down and I'll cover all that as we go along. Now they also did send on a couple of top caps for its big brother. Uh, we do finally have a big old copper one and a brass one. Now these are fixed airflow on these but I'll show you those in the close-ups. Now before I get into showing you the SQ I'll quickly show you these uh, two new top caps for your standard dead rabbit. So we have a brass and we have a copper one. So we've got the butcher and we've got the priest. So here's the butcher and you can see that, that and once again this is fixed airflow. You can't adjust this. Uh, we've got a, a matching top cap, top cap, drip tip with knurling on it and I actually don't, I mean when I did the previous review you know for the actual RDA I wasn't a fan of the logo uh, as it came but I have to say that on the brass and the copper it doesn't really offend me at all. There we go inside and we have the same going on here but look at the airflow, totally different. Uh, as my bearded friend would say, this is a diffused airflow, this is a lot more open. I have to say that this is too airy for me, the butcher, uh, but the priest, I can vape away with this quite the thing. I should also mention that they come with other drip tips as well inside the box. It's not just a metal one you get. So here we have the SQ and I'll give you a quick look through this. So it comes well packaged. In fact, everything that comes with this is very impressive. So this is the black one. Uh, I do have the silver one here, but this is a brand new black one. And we'll take this to bits. Now the spares that you get here are, you get, oh Christ, you get everything. Uh, you get in here, you know, your Allen keys, your screwdrivers. You get 510 drip tip adapters in here. You get a, what I would consider a mouth to lung drip tip. You get squonk pins, you get spare screws, O-rings, absolutely everything you're going to need. It's 22 millimeters in diameter, just about 24 millimeters in height, not including the drip tip and the 510 down here. The 510 protrudes and we have all this engraving going on on the bottom. Out the box it comes with the squonk pin in there, drip tip, goes on and off, no problem at all there. And we have the fully adjustable airflow, so you can go fully open from here, you can go dual on both sides or you can go down to this tiny little air hole here and you can have that just for one side or you can have that running on both sides just keep spinning the cap round. This matte finish on here it feels really really nice actually. Now I will say when you take the top cap off make sure that you put e-liquid on these o-rings before you put the top cap back on just in case you damage them. Now if you've seen the original Dead Rabbit review then you'll know what's going on here. Um, it's very very similar to the original Dead Rabbit except this is single coil. We have our screws on the side here, coil's going to sit on the top, the legs will go down through the bottom and you can snip them off once again and it works really well, it squonks really well and it just does the business. Now the top cap you can see we've got these lugs here and we have corresponding lugs in here, be hard to see because it's black but it all fits together, it's, it's easy to build on and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Now I'm running a build with inno wire in here just now and you can see that it's the same as the, the first dead rabbit, you can take the cotton right over the, you know, the positive and the negative post and just spread it down the sides and if I squonk away here hopefully you'll see this, no problem at all and I've set my top cap to the two small holes here just to show you this and I'll just pop this on, boom clicks into place, no problem, screw that down and I'm good to vape. I have no issues with adjusting the airflow, it's nice and smooth. 
all in it's really good and once again I'm using the supply drip tip the 510 drip tip adapter and we're going to do some mouth along with this now before I get into the the SQ or the the 22 mil RDA uh, here we go that's the copper one uh, diffuse the airflow and and I quite enjoy this yes it's it's a long hit it's slightly restricted uh, but it is a full-on lung hit in my book the brass one is it's it's still I mean it's still wide open but it still has that little restriction to it and it is a bit a bit noisier uh, for me personally I just prefer the copper one I would like to have seen still adjustable airflow on these caps um, I think it's great that we can get these um, but I just wish there'd still been adjustable airflow in them. But that's me, I'm just a miserable sod. The SQ, it's little brother. I have a lot of time for this. I can, you know, with it fully open, with the big airflow like that, just popping a, an 810 on there quickly, you know, you can get a full on lung hit. Once again, it's got a little hint of a restriction there. But get that 510 rip tip adapter, pop on the little mouth to lung drip tip that comes with it, and Let's just adjust this airflow, put it down to the two holes on either side, or one on either side, I should say, and that's mouth to lung. That is about a one mil. That feels like a one mil draw. And the throat hit that is incredible. That's three milligram, but I'm still getting an incredible throat hit from that, even on three milligram. Listen. You can mouth the lung with this. What I will say is it's not going to give you the flavour of a a true mouth to lung RDA. It's it's not there. But the surprising thing is that you can mouth the lung with this and you will get decent flavour. If you run it with the 810 drip tip and open up the big airflow holes, then you do you get a cracking vape for this. I think the flavour is for me is slightly better than its bigger brother. I, two thumbs up, honestly, two thumbs up from me on this. Um, it kind of crosses both, you know, mouth to lung and cloudy, if you want it. It's better at the cloudy, but you can get a decent vape on a mouth to lung with this thing. And, and I think that's great. This was a quick and dirty look at something. It, it wasn't full in, I didn't go into doing a build and all that kind of stuff, but if you've seen a Dead Rabbit review, then you just apply the same to this. If you want, go and watch my old Dead Rabbit review or go and watch a good one. Good stuff, this. It really is good stuff. Thank you to Hellvape for sending this on. I did get it free to review and to show off to you guys. And I must admit that now I'm a bit slow in the uptake, but Gangs of New York, Dead Rabbit, Priest Butcher, yeah, the penny dropped, finally. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, bye for now.